Greetings, I'm Craig Smizer with 1835 Realty. Welcome to the March 2021 edition of How's the Market in Steiner Ranch. The numbers continue to astound, so let's get started. In February, 14 resale homes closed in Steiner Ranch, which was down 17.6% from 2020. Now this is the first time since last May that we've seen a decline in the monthly number of homes sold. And it's simply because we had very little inventory in January. The median price increased 41.5% to $707,500. The average price of a home increased an unbelievable 73.7% to over $880,000. And the average price per square foot increased by almost 37% to just under $240 a square foot. Now, these numbers are just bananas. Now, if you're thinking of selling your home, contact me and we can talk about what you can realistically expect to sell your home for. Now, for years, I have said that the better measure is to look at a longer period of time to get a clear picture of the market. But I can't say that anymore because the market's moving too fast. However, for consistency, let me share the numbers for the last six months as compared to the prior period a year earlier. The number of resale homes sold during the past six months is 126, up 34% from the same time frame of the year before. Now, the median price of a home has increased 35.6% to $632,500. The average price has increased by 18.5% to over $713,000. And the average price per square foot has increased by 14.6% to over $210. Again, the February one month numbers, I think more accurately depict the very fast market that we're in right now. Now, personally, I'm observing fewer offers on homes, but the prices being offered are very strong. Many buyers have, unfortunately, come to realize they can't compete in this market right now and are temporarily on the sidelines. A big issue is that the rapidly increasing prices means that many homes are not appraising for the sales price. This requires a buyer to bring a large amount of cash to close, above and beyond their normal down payment and closing costs. Realistically, a buyer today in Steiner should have around $200,000 minimum to put down on a house if they plan to get an offer accepted on an entry level home. Now the number of available resale homes at the end of February was two, down 87.5% from last February. Across Steiner, the sales range from a low of $455,000 to a high of $1,650,000. The average sales price to list price ratio was 111.8%. Yes, that's very high and the highest I've ever seen in Steiner, but I have a feeling that the March closings will make this number seem small. For homes that closed in February, the average days on market was 14, down from 43 last year. As always, my website allows you to look at summary and detailed data for each Steiner Ranch neighborhood. Simply go to realestateinaustin.com and click on the big red search sold data button which is found towards the bottom of the page. Now, while these high prices are great for those who are selling, it's about to become really inconvenient for the rest of us. The Travis Central Appraisal District will be releasing the 2021 appraisals soon, and I can tell you that these are going to have huge increases. So buckle up. As always, I will be offering workshops on how to protest your property tax appraisal. Now, since they're going to be online only again this year, I'm going to wait until the appraisals are released before scheduling those dates. So again, if you're thinking of selling, please reach out to me and let's talk about what you can expect in this unusual market. Of course, if you have any real estate related questions, please don't hesitate to call me at 512-650-7300 or email me at craig at realestateinaustin.com. Thanks for watching. How's the market in Steiner Ranch?